guys, today we're making strawberry blueberry shortcakes because 4th of July is right around the corner and I am feeling festive, if you can't tell. You guys all know I'm obsessed with my Vitamix and I just got the new air disc container, which is epic for many reasons. One, I'm gonna make a huge batch of Chantilly cream for all these shortcakes. Two, it pops right onto any full-size Vitamix blender so Thomas can't get mad at me for buying yet another appliance. It's just gonna make life so much easier because it's gonna infuse the cream with all this air, whatever. We're getting to that later. Let's start with the shortcakes. We need three cups of all-purpose flour to start. We're starting with the shortcakes because we gotta bake them off. So we'll put three cups right in here. And I am just flattening off the top so it's evenly measured. And then to that, we are just going to zest about two teaspoons of lemon zest because that's gonna bring out all the flavor from the berries through the shortcakes, everything, you name it. Whenever you add a little bit of citrus, it really enhances the flavor. So just pop that right in there. Then we need three tablespoons of sugar, which is not a lot of sugar considering how much flour we added, but the sweetness is gonna come from the Chantilly cream and the fresh berries. Okay, then we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of kosher salt. All right, we'll just stir this together so we can incorporate everything. And then we're going to cut in some really cold butter. And that is the key to an incredible biscuit. You wanna use like almost freezing butter. So we have 12 tablespoons of butter. Peel this off. And then I'm going to kind of quarter these and then cut them into cubes. And you wanna work fast. I can already feel the butter heating up. And then plop it right into the flour mixture. And then using your fork, you're just gonna use the back of your fork and break up the butter. So it's kind of gonna be like coarse sand, if you will. And if you really want to get in there and you don't have a pastry cutter, which I don't have one currently, just get in there with your fingers, break up the butter until it's perfectly evenly combined. All right, and to this, we're gonna finish it off by adding about a cup and a half, two cups of heavy cream. We're just gonna carefully pour this in and let's see how it looks. And we can always add more cream, but you can't take it away. So don't add too much to start. We want it to all kind of start to stick together. All right, so this biscuit dough looks perfect. Like it's still flaky, but it's easy to kind of like mold it together. So we're gonna divide this into nine biscuits. So just form them into a ball and then pat it down. And then you just put it right on your baking sheet and repeat eight more times. All right, so the biscuits look perfect. They're not gonna spread too much, so it's okay that they're kind of close. This is just gonna go into a 425 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes until they're perfectly fluffy. All right, biscuits are in the oven or the shortcakes are in the oven. We are just going to trim. I've washed these strawberries. We're just gonna trim like the green part off. We don't need that. We're gonna just trim that off all of them to start. And also this is the only time in my life you'll ever see me using my parry knife. Just real life, keeping it real. And then we're just gonna take our knife and slice these up just like that. So each strawberry goes into like five or six little pieces and just throw them in the bowl. And my mom used to, when we were kids, she used to cut up strawberries for us, for us from the farmer's market and just sprinkle a little sugar on top of them and let them sit in the fridge, which is exactly how this recipe was inspired. You guys, it's everything. Add some Chantilly cream, game over. Okay, now the sugar. Just grab a spoon, and we're just gonna need like a tablespoon or two, nothing crazy. Just sprinkle the sugar right over the berries, and then just give it a stir. And then it's just gonna sit here. The longer it sits, the better. Minimum you have to wait is 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna put this right over by our stove, and we'll wait for the biscuits to cook, and now we'll make the Chantilly cream. All right, the most important part of the shortcakes, the Chantilly cream. So this is where the air disc container comes in major handy. This inside the disc is going to aerate the cream and make it perfectly whipped. So I don't have to do it like by hand and like get a cramp in my tricep or anything crazy like that. It's going to solve 
all of our problems. Okay, so in to our air disc container, we're going to put two thirds cup of powdered sugar and then two cups of heavy whipping cream. And this is gonna make a decent sized batch of whipped cream, which is what we want because we made a lot of shortcakes. So we'll just pop the top on and then let's go. We'll add a little bit of vanilla while this is going so it can just infuse. I can see it coming together. And you know it's done when it's no longer whipping because your whipped cream is perfect. Look, I'll show you. <gasps> Perfectly whipped cream. All right, so the strawberries are perfect. We're just going to dump the blueberries right into the strawberries. And the reason we didn't do that to begin with is because we're not trying to extract any of the juices from the blueberries, just the strawberries. So give that a nice toss and just coat everything. And then we're just gonna cut the biscuits in half, hamburger style. <laughs> and then that way we can sandwich the berries and the cream in between. Carefully flip the top over. Let's get a large board. This way I can just bring it out on a sheet tray right to the pool for everybody to enjoy. So I'm gonna put the shortcake right on down there. That's gonna go right on top. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some of the berry mixture. O M G. And then the top, we can just kind of rest right like that. And just like that, a couple extra blueberries for me. Our strawberry blueberry shortcakes are done. The cream is incredible. There's a little bit left over in here. I may or may not just like dip some extra strawberries in there and live my best life. These are gonna be the star of your 4th of July. I pinky promise. Full recipe is on westgobbycooking.com. I'll see you guys soon.